Okay, I know I've promised this video for a bit. It's finally here. My video on Charleston's hometown hero, Erastus Buck. Now, I, I know you guys probably want me to get into the war right away, which, you know, spoiler, Captain Erastus Buck was in the military. Duh. However, I want to give some context. So, Wilson Buck, Erastus's father, was born in Waterford, Vermont in 1801. Lorana Smith, his mother, was born, depending on whether you go by what Buck's book says, which is supposed to be an authoritative source, or what the town records say, either 1803 or 1806. In fact, even the town records aren't very clear on when Lorana Smith was actually born. However, the book, which cites those records, says 1803 for some reason. So I was confused if the author found something that I didn't know about. So I actually went to the cemetery to check. According to her gravestone, she must have been born 1806 if you do the math, so I'm going to go with that. Bit of a spoiler in there if you looked closely, but oh well. So, 1806. Lorana, born 1806. Um, they married, since they didn't marry in Charleston, the Charleston records don't have their wedding date. Uh, they moved to Charleston in 1827, which, by the way, there was also conflicting data on when they moved. Some said 1829, but one of their children was born in Charleston in 1827, so they have to have moved either in late 1826, since their first child was born 1826 in Waterford, and then their next child was born in Charleston, so do the math. Must have been at least at that point. So, sorry. <laughs> I, I really went into detail for this, and I before I go any farther, I want to thank the Charleston Historical Society for letting me go through all the documents to really do the research. Um, so they moved to Charleston uh, with their first son, Myron Buck, who I mentioned was born earlier. Um, they had their second child, Madeline. Then in 1830, Erastus was born. Three years later, his second sister, Martha, was born. And after another two years, Loner gave birth to his brother, Walter, uh, after which Erastus would eventually name his son, although his son may have also been named after um, his grandfather, which, so it, it's a family name. Um, so, circling back, Wilson Buck served as a highway surveyor and fence viewer starting in 1832. This wasn't really a good paying job and the family's income was subsidized by a small farm they had. Erastus's younger sister died in 1840 when he was 10 and she was 13. Three years later, Lorana had her final child, a boy named Cyrus. Um, Erastus had finished his one-room schoolhouse education at this point and was now free to work full-time supporting his family. Um, in 1848, gold was discovered in the aptly named El Dorado County in California, leading to the 1849 gold rush. Um, despite now being 19, Erastus didn't participate, um, possibly because he was too busy caring for his ailing mother, who, and spoiler alert, you know, if you looked at the gravestone, his mother died 2nd of December. 1849. Um, sadly passed, but um, two and a half months later, the youngest of the family, Cyrus, would also die February 16th at the age of six and a half. Um, this was before his mother was even buried, as if you live far enough north, you know you can't bury bodies in the winter. And I'm saying this as someone who has been to a May funeral for someone who died in the winter. You have to wait for the ground to thaw. You can't dig six feet down into frozen earth. 
These events likely contributed to Erastus leaving for California in 1851, where he struck it rich. And being a sensible man, he immediately returned home and left the godforsaken land known as California. Now, upon his return home, he purchased a 275-acre farm in Charleston that was described as, quote, well-tilled and well-stocked. Um, he also, sometime after returning, joined the Island Pond Masonic Lodge. I don't know the exact year because I'm not a Mason and thus am not privy to their secret dealings since they are a secret society. Um, however, he became a Mason. Uh, in addition to the farm Rastus purchased, um, he also purchased or built a sawmill. He he definitely bought the land. The sawmill could have been there already, um, but he was now the proud owner of a sawmill, and he became a partial owner of a starch mill. He had a stake in a starch mill, so two mills. Uh, around this time, his father, Wilson Buck, remarried, marrying one Annie Caswell Hall, who would give birth to Erastus's only half-brother, Myra, in July of 1853. Um, not really relevant, but I figured I should finish off his siblings. Speaking of weddings, Erastus married Martha M. Piney on October 12th of 1854, and she bore him his first son, William, on September 18th, 1855, and his second son, Walter, three years later, on December 8th, 1858. Uh, two years later, on November 6th, 1860, sorry for all the dates I'm throwing out, Abraham Lincoln won the presidential election, despite not appearing on the ballots in 10 states. Now, speaking of the ballots, Erastus's ballot was most likely marked for Lincoln, as Vermont, and I'm very proud to say this, was the state with the highest percentage of the popular vote going to Lincoln at 75%, which actually, come to think of it, seems kind of low, but remember, there were four people running, and... It wasn't like now where we have four people running, but no one votes for the Libertarian or the Green Party. In fact, a lot of people forget that those parties exist. These were major party candidates who all received at least a few electoral votes. I, I'm sorry for that little diatribe, but it's not like Lincoln was going to win the states in which he wasn't on the ballot anyways. But even then, uh, like I mentioned in my last video with uh, the death of Edgar Allan Poe, there was generally a lot of election fraud, interference, whatever, um, in mid-19th century America. Um, so, after Lincoln's in election, not inauguration, after Lincoln's election, South Carolina secedes, followed by several other states, um, eventually 11 Confederate states, one after the other, slow succession, um, on April 15th, Abraham Lincoln calls for the laughably low number of 75,000 volunteers for three months of service. Now, the three months of service bit um, isn't laughably low because that was just the way that it was legally set up. You could call out the militia, but only for three months. So... He wasn't thinking it would be over. It was get these guys out and ready and then we can deal with more men later. We need these men now. So in response, Vermont Governor Erastus Fairbanks, another Erastus, orders the formation of the 1st Vermont Infantry Regiment. Um, now, th this is where it gets messy. Erastus Buck, not Erastus Fairbanks, Erastus Buck enlists April 24th, then a week later on May 3rd, Lincoln calls for an additional 20,000 men. See, I told you he was going to call for more men. Uh, this time for three years of service, as that legal issue had been picked up, uh, leading to Vermont creating their second and third regiments. Now, even though he had tried to enlist already, he technically wasn't in the first regiment yet, so he was reassigned from the first to the third. Um, but all that being said, he ends up in Company D of the 3rd Vermont Infantry Regiment. In fact, uh, 
he didn't just enlist as a private. He was made sergeant due to his high standing. Um, now, a good number of men in Company D were from Charleston or surrounding areas. Um, towns such as Derby, Morgan, and Brownington. Uh, the third was mustered into service on July 15th, 1861 in St. J. St. Johnsbury. Um, this meant a trip south to Caledonia County for Erastus. Martha and possibly Willie and Walter. Um, he mentions in one of his letters, um, the last time I saw you in St. Johnsbury. He doesn't mention if the kids were there. I can imagine due to their young age, they might not have actually accompanied him. And since, you know, he did have family in the area, they could have been left with them. They could have come. I don't know. I don't really care. I don't know why I'm going into it this much. <laughs> but uh, all that being said, this is where I'm going to end this video. Erastus has now enlisted. And tune in next time for the beginning of army life.